Yes. Dragon cart? That just sounds amazing. A toilet plunger? Yeah. If you have one, could you run into Shangri-La? Just buy one for them. They raised you for crying out loud. A man your age should be sending money to his family anyway. You think I can afford that? I'm barely scraping by as is. Well, then you need to leave that sorry Arakawa family and join a family with some real push, kid. Sure, you'd be their gopher for a while, but that'd still be better than how you're living now, right? You're an idiot. I swore an oath to Arakawa-san, and I never abandoned him. <laughs> Aren't you an obedient little dog? Hey, I heard something real cute about you. You're babysitting Arakawa's kid? Ah, itchy than any. Hey, look, the young master's the same age as me. He's not a kid. Young master? What is this, the 18th century? Besides, I'm not babysitting him. I'm his caretaker. He's been in a wheelchair since he was a toddler, you know? Oh, so he needs a big, strong Yakuza at his side every time he wants some fresh air? <sighs> Arakawa's going soft in his old age. Surprise, surprise. Hey, try saying one more word about Arakawa and see what happens. Hey, Aniki. Yo, did you give those high schoolers their money back? Yep. Never seen kids happier to see a Yakuza before. It all worked out. See, they ain't so bad. Dude, there's no reason to be happy about it. If we don't score big on our next job, the captain's going to know that. What is our next job, anyway? It's a shakedown. Our mark borrowed 500k from a loan shark and hasn't paid back a single yen. And apparently, he's immune to Yakuza threats. But we thought we'd give it a shot, so we bought the loan. Well, let's go, man. <laughs> I hope that- Hey, by the way, Captain Sawashiro said to pull out all the stops to get this money back. So we might have to rough him up. Alright, so where is this clown now? I hear he hangs out around Public Park 3 a lot. Okay. I'll go on ahead and scope it out. Meet me over there, okay? Alright. I'm gonna roam around just a little bit. Ah, uh, the good old lockers. Oh wow, I actually don't do the lockers now. Oh, wow, I don't do the vending machines either. Hmm. Or either that or it might be for later. I really probably need to save my yen. And this used to be the bowling alley. Oh, 
Haniki. Is our guy here? Yes, is he here? There is. Look over there. Ooh. He looks like Mr. Shakedown. That's Hiratsuka. That dude, huh? Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka-san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Mm. Having a smoke while your mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? So you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around. If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet. Hey, you think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to power bomb other kids. As long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal, that must mean... <laughs> you ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here. Because we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory. And my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you. I don't have any money. Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bombs? No, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. Be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it. Here we go. Tag match, Aniki. Not this time. You be the referee. I want him all to myself. Huh? Quit jabbering and let's do this. Come on. Oh God! He's got a hammer. Down and out. Nice. Level up. There we go. Nice. HP, MP. Oh, yes. Just basically everything. You're still pretty strong. But not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Nothing in there. Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Aniki! Why? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Me too. Hey, Hariki! What's up with you? Why did you take the money? Hiratsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off. We just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. 
He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamaracho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. Oh. Wow! Wow! <laughs> If we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us! We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. And look, that's exactly what we snatched. You know that's not what the captain meant. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up within two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finished up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now, you should be with the young master. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir. Just move your ass. And don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, wow. I know that, sir. So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Me too. Take this back to the office for me. Oh no! I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. I'll kill time until then. <laughs> Where is he? Hey, miss! Where's the young mess? I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Huh? <laughs> sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? Okay. Sorry. Did you forget what day it is? No, uh, of course not. It's... Yumino-san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just... I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this. You didn't. Did you? Of course not. If he asks where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. Why do I have a feeling he's gonna get shot? Oh, Club Zephyr. Okay. You okay? 
you, Master? I'm fine. We're almost there. Wait, don't go in yet. Duck in here for a sec. Uh, um, okay. An EpiPen? Whoa, what the? What is that? The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate but it won't last more than a few hours. But how... how did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Oh my god, he's injecting it right into his heart! None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. You're a fucking wuss. Ow. Please. Young master? Young master? Young master! <laughs> Ooh, man, those yellow eyes. Um, uh, how would you be even able to walk? You haven't been able to walk for years. Let's go. Young master? Wild. Wild. Welcome. They're all in shock. Good evening, Masato-san. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with them to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. Hey. Hi. Hmm? No. Go. <clears throat> I'm 
Okay. So I gotta go find her. Hmm. Try over there. busy today nothing to be sorry about if you didn't have customers on your birthday I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind <laughs> oh boy I wonder how this is gonna go who are you mm, well um, how should I put this I'm the young lady's escort for tonight <laughs> hey John what are you doing I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. I recognize that voice. I recognize that voice. I think that's Sojiro. I think that's Sojiro. Uh, no. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up. This is ludicrous. Ludo, what? Use some normal ass words. You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Take anything you'd like. And don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. Wow. And he's going to push it right back. I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion in accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? Oh, he's a politician. You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? <laughs> I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Oh, Tokyo PD. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. Wow, are you even allowed out this late at a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Wow, that's just. <laughs> Yumino-san, such fancy drinks, Yumino-san. You spoil us. Thank you. Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, 
It is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want, <laughs> I want a boyfriend, boyfriend like Masako. Eiji, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! Sorry, I know it's not much. Aww. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I, I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> what? <laughs> My mother has the exact same one. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, come on. <laughs> the name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichi Bad. Am I right? Ooh. <laughs> oh boy. Masato san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. Wow! Look at all those diamonds. Oh, wow! Oh. No way! Uh, is this real? That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How, how much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. <laughs> well, thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I be at the front for a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just high demand. Right. Plus, so, so you don't know how much time is left on those endorphins. Ooh, those endorphins could drop at any Excuse second. Excuse me, I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice. Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Oh, my. Well, we'd have to ask you, Mino. Oh, she'd kill us for sure. But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. Um, what do we got going on here? I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Horino Uchi-san, wait! Please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... well, he's the son of a Yakuza. 